Director David Lowry, the filmmaker behind A Ghost Story, The Old Man and the Gun, and Ain't Them Body Saints, has teamed with A24 for the highly anticipated epic fantasy film The Green Knight. Here's everything we know about the movie so far. David Lowery has been in the entertainment business for nearly three decades now, doing everything from acting and editing to working as a second unit director, producer, and cinematographer before finally writing and directing his own movies. His featured directorial debut came in 2009 with the release of Saint Nick, and from there, Lowery has written and directed a handful of films from his critically acclaimed original projects as a writer-director to more traditional studio fare, like the remake of Pete's Dragon. He's also attached as the co-writer and director of 2022 live-action Peter Pan and Wendy film, according to Variety. Basically, Lowry is a powerhouse in Hollywood, so it makes sense that following the critical success of his 2017 movie, A Ghost Story, A24 wanted to recreate the magic. In November 2018, Deadline announced that A24 had partnered with Lowry for The Green Knight. The movie is described as a fantasy epic retelling of the 14th century chivalric story Sir Gawain and the Green Knight, written by an anonymous author known as Gawain Poet, or less commonly, the Pearl Poet, named after a poem also included in the sole existing Gawain manuscript. A24 tapped Leyline Entertainment and Braun Studios to co-finance the film, which was reportedly made on a very low budget according to Entertainment Weekly, though exact numbers haven't been made publicly available. Either way, from the teasers and trailers alone, the movie looks like a sumptuous stark vision. Regardless of what it costs, the results are undeniably impressive. Before we keep talking about how The Green Knight is an adaptation of the Sir Gawain and the Green Knight story, we should make sure that everyone knows what that story even is. Without spoiling any of the big reveals, and trust us, there are some major ones, here's an abridged plot summary of the famous 14th century tale. Sir Gawain and the Green Knight centers around King Arthur's erstwhile nephew Sir Gawain, a largely untested knight of Camelot's famed Round Table. Sir Gawain unexpectedly accepts a life-or-death challenge from the monstrous titular Green Knight. According to the Green Knight's game, a challenger may attempt to strike the Green Knight, but only on the condition that they must again face the Green Knight a year later. Sir Gawain beheads the Green Knight, who supernaturally survives the ordeal, then embarks on a sprawling, mind-melting journey to honor his side of the deal. Along the way, Sir Gawain and the Green Knight becomes an Odyssey-styled epic as Sir Gawain's honor, valor, and medal are repeatedly proclaimed, questioned, and tested. There's a lot more going on within the narrative that the Green Knight is sure to unravel on the big screen, but delving too much into the plot would stand the chance of spoiling things. If you want to get all the nitty-gritty details, hold out for what David Lowry and A24 are offering in their adaptation of The Green Knight. David Lowry's The Green Knight is actually the third theatrically released film adaptation of Sir Gawain and the Green Knight, coming after 1973's Gawain and the Green Knight and 1984's Sword of the Valiant, The Legend of Sir Gawain and the Green Knight, both of which were written and directed by filmmaker Stephen Weeks. There have also been TV movie adaptations of the story as well, including a 1991 British live-action production and a 2002 BAFTA award-winning animated short done in the style of stained glass windows. In the first Stephen Weeks movie, Murray Head played Gawain Wayne and Nigel Green portrayed the Green Knight. In the second, Miles O'Keefe was Sir Gawain and Sean Connery was the Green Knight. Although the new film uses a centuries-old piece of literature as its source material and isn't the first adaptation of that material at all, The Green Knight promises to breathe new life into the tale, and not just because the R-rated film will feature violence, some sexuality, and graphic nudity. When crafting The Green Knight, Lowry found inspiration in fantasy movies from the 1980s, horror flicks, the works of William Shakespeare, and more. As he told Entertainment Weekly in an exclusive interview, in terms of visual references, we looked at everything from Andrei Rublev, which is, I think, one of the greatest movies ever made, and which you can never make now. We looked at Willow, the Ron Howard film, which is one of my favorite fantasy films of all time. We looked at a lot of 80s fantasy, to be honest, like Lady Hawk and Dragon Slayer and Willow. Lowry was also influenced by the horror films produced by Hammer Film Productions, a seven-hour long Russian adaptation of War and Peace from the 1960s that had recently been restored just as The Green Knight began pre-production, Kenneth Branagh's Henry V, and tons of Shakespeare classics. The filmmaker affirmed that The Green Knight is completely a fantasy and that there's, quote, no historical accuracy to the film whatsoever. So don't go looking for this movie if you're wanting to see a realistic rendering of medieval times. For all you history buffs out there, maybe wait to see the movie until it's available on streaming so that you don't bother anybody while you're yelling at the screen. 
When the Green Knight does battle with some of 2021's biggest movies and the mammoth promotional budgets of the major studios who produce them, it will do so with the help of a first-rate cast. At the head of the pack, playing lead character Sir Gawain is Oscar-nominated actor Dev Patel, who has recently received praise and accolades in droves for his turns in Slubdog Millionaire, Chappie, The Best Exotic Marigold Hotel, The Personal History of David Copperfield, and more. According to Variety, Patel joined the cast of The Green Knight in March 2019. That same month, the casting of Ralph Ineson was also announced, with reports confirming his role as The Green Knight. Viewers may recognize Ineson from his work as Amicus Caro in three of the eight Harry Potter movies, Chris Finch in the UK version of The Office, Nikolai Tarakanov in HBO's Chernobyl miniseries, and also William in another masterful A24 movie, The Witch. Academy Award winner Alicia Vikander joins the leading duo as Lady Bertilock, the wife of Lord Bertilock de Otisert, played in The Green Knight by prolific Australian actor Joel Edgerton. Rounding out the cast are Sean Harris as King Arthur, Kate Dickey as Queen Guinevere, The Falcon and the Winter Soldier star Aaron Kellyman, Sarita Chowdhury, and Barry Kewen. The Irish Film and Television Network reported that production on The Green Knight kicked off in March 2019 and listed two of the movie's filming locations, Ardmore Studios in Bray, County Wicklow, Ireland, and Care Castle located in County Tipperary, Ireland. Films like 1974's bizarre sci-fi fantasy Zardoz, 1995's legendary historical war epic Braveheart, 2004's King Arthur, and 2012's Byzantium have filmed at Ardmore Studios, as have the television series The Tudors, Penny Dreadful, Camelot, Into the Badlands, Rain, and the Irish version of Dancing with the Stars. As for Care Castle, it's been used for projects like 1981's Excalibur and the television series The Tudors. According to HN Entertainment, acclaimed New Zealand-based digital visual effects company Weta Digital spearheaded the effects for The Green Knight. Weta Digital's Eric Sandin told the outlet about some of the many plates the company was spinning in April 2019, sharing, We're back on the Avatar movies now, and we're even doing a project with David Lowery called Green Knight, which is another fun project and just something on the opposite end of the budget of Avatar, but still another fun script. In a chat with Entertainment Weekly, David Lowery gushed about the experience of filming The Green Knight. He told the outlet, we had one day that was one of the most fun days that I've ever had on set. It just felt like I'm here in Ireland with my friends making one of the coolest movies we could ever possibly make. It wasn't all perfect, though. Lowry did say that he ended up getting really sick during filming, which on top of the stress of filming a movie was a bit of a nightmare, but he powered through. Once The Green Knight completed principal photography, the next order of business was post-production en route to a festival debut and then a formal theatrical release. On March 2, 2020, Deadline announced that The Green Knight would make its world premiere in Austin, Texas at the South by Southwest Festival. The official premiere date was set to be on Friday, March 16th, ahead of a more robust theatrical launch on Friday, May 29th. Anyway, you all know what we're about to tell you. As literally just about everyone in the world knows, March 2020 was the time at which COVID-19, already spreading rapidly across the globe, finally started to upset the world order by causing everything from Broadway to the Olympics to movie premieres worldwide to get shut down and delayed indefinitely. We all know by now how the rest of 2020 shook out, but Deadline at the time reported an optimistic outlook, saying that South by Southwest would indeed be moving forward despite industry panic about the coronavirus. According to the outlet, the organizers of the 2020 festival were committed to taking any necessary precautions to make the festival as safe as possible, but the situation developed rapidly. Four days after Deadline's report and less than two weeks before the intended premiere of The Green Knight, the festival organizers announced that the event was cancelled. The film also lost its May 29, 2020 release date as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic shutting down theaters, and A24 kept The Green Knight in limbo for months until it finally set a new debut date. One year hence. In December 2020, seven months after the minds behind The Green Knight had their dreams dashed following the cancellation of 2020's South by Southwest Festival, A24 went public with its new game plan. The movie would become an unlikely summer blockbuster debuting in theaters on July 30th, 2021, without any prior appearances at smaller, more exclusive film festivals as was originally intended. A quick crunching of the numbers indicates that this entire series of setbacks works out to a total delay of 16 and a half months from the time audiences were originally meant to start seeing The Green Knight and the actual date when it's set to open in a wide release. 
if nothing else, you can tell from the YouTube comments on the movie's teaser, originally posted in February 2020, that people have been eagerly awaiting the movie and letting people know about it throughout the entirety of the long pandemic. With such a stacked cast and a story filled with mystery and intrigue though, The Green Knight is sure to reward viewers for their patience, blowing everyone away when it at long last hits silver screens this summer. As the old adage goes, good things come to those who wait. A24 is known for being low-key when it comes to marketing its movies, preferring to let the films speak for themselves instead of doing any heavy, over-the-top promotion. The Green Knight has continued to make headlines despite not having a massive marketing campaign behind it, almost entirely thanks to the caliber of its creative talent in front of and behind the camera. And what movie fans have seen of the film so far has them excited beyond belief. The Green Knight has made it onto several lists of outlets' most anticipated movies of 2021, with Observer stamping it as a must-see summer movie. Over on Twitter, users have expressed their excitement for The Green Knight with the kind of quippy, unrestrained posts characteristic of the platform. One poster confessed, Yo, I can't stop watching the latest trailer for The Green Knight. I'm so f***ing hyped. Another confessed that they haven't been excited about movies in quite some time, but the thought of seeing The Green Knight in theaters made them feel those warm fuzzies again. Writing, This is the first time in a long time I got excited with an upcoming release, and that's on The Green Knight. Whether you've known about The Green Knight story or you've just learned it from this movie, it's hard not to be excited about this dark and epic fable. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more Looper videos about upcoming movies and TV shows are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.